What is up guys? Hi. I feel like I haven't posted in so long, but as you know it, it's Tara J. I'm back again with another one. I haven't posted in a really long time because so much crazy stuff has been happening. I'm not even gonna say crazy, but so much greatness has been happening for me and I just keep forgetting to vlog about it. So I'm back, I'm gonna try to get back on it and vlog a little bit more daily i feel like this same time last year i went missing probably for the same reasons greatness or whatever but i'm back youtube i miss you guys so much i've been telling myself every single weekend that i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna post a video and i'm gonna talk for a little bit so i finally was able to do it and yeah <laughs> let's get into it okay but before we get into that, I do want to say I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I miss you guys so much. I hope you guys miss me. Comment below if you miss me posting videos and me being my crazy self. Okay, I'm. I know I'm crazy. I get that all the time. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Before we get into it about what's been going on, where have I been? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to comment below and give this video a big thumbs up because why not? I'm back better than ever. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. As you know it, I am a school teacher. Last year, I was in the second grade classroom, but now, this year, I'm teaching the fourth grade. I started in the fourth grade classroom. I still have yet to post my classroom tour. It's so beautiful. It's about emojis because I feel like that was the most neutral thing that you can possibly do, right? You can talk about feelings, emotions, um just you can write different things you can code different things just you know how via text is you can you can just make it into so much so emojis probably was the best and the mutual thing for fourth grade it wasn't too kitty but it's not too old please excuse me guys i burnt my forehead a little while ago and it just it just won't heal i just don't understand why i won't heal but anyways guys <laughs> i missed you guys let's have so much to catch up on as you can see I am sitting on my couch. You probably can't see it, but it's here. It's cute and it's blue. I moved from my last place and I will do an apartment tour very soon. I've been here for maybe two, actually almost three months come December 2nd. I would have been here for three months, but I still have another room that I'm still trying to get together. I have a table that I don't really want anymore, so I'm trying to give that away. It's just a lot, okay? I need a chair, I want a little chair to go right here. You can't see it, but I want a little chair to go right here. It's a, a huge, empty space. It's just a lot that I need to get together before I show you guys how great my place is. I really, really love it. I, I can say it's much more space than I had before. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely still a studio, but it's not like, I'm not confined into one box like I was before, excuse me. <coughs> so yeah those are <laughs> two great things that has happened my car is still awesome i love my buick if you have not checked out my car tour from last year go ahead and check that out here it's awesome songs <laughs> i tend i intended to do a video about um my skincare regimen and what I do to my body and things like that. But I, I just recently ran out of face wash and I just recently ran out of body wash. So I had to start over again and buy all those things. And then I'm gonna come back with what I do for my skin because I realized that that is a great video to do because recently someone asked me, what is my regimen? What is my skincare regimen? Why, is, why am I always looking like I'm glowing all the time? Do I wear makeup? What do I do? So it's not a lot of times where I put on makeup on a regular basis. I mean, granted, I put on skin toner sometimes. I do my eyebrows, concealer, but not a lot of times. This is just me. Like, my acne has done wonders. Like, I used to get bumps, like, all down here. But, I mean, we're, besides Desert Essence, you guys already know, um, if you see all of my videos from back then, I'm still using the same vegan fetch wash, so that ain't no difference. Dr. Bronner's soap. I'm still using the same body soap, but it's more stuff that I have added to it that I just gotta let you guys know. I gotta bring you guys in on the tea, okay? <laughs> but yeah, besides that, I moved. My car is awesome. I love what I do for a living. Like the kids make my life so fulfilling. Like it fills my heart daily. It's just being there. And the, fun the funnest thing that I can probably say is that 
I am now teaching the fourth and the third grade class. Same bad, okay, well, I ain't gonna say bad, the same crazy, silly, spontaneous kids from second grade when I was doing the bed. I'm like, my food is here. Be right back. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm back. I ordered some Chinese food because I've been like fiending for like a really long time. I thought I was gonna get it tomorrow and I thought I was gonna make burgers tonight because I thought I'm at these on um, Beyond Beef burgers out, but I just cooked the burgers tomorrow, right? <laughs> but I'm trying to sit here and I'm opening this bag up to make sure DoorDash ain't fuck my order up because they always doing some wild shit. Like, let me tell you about what happened the other day. Right, so I ordered some, um, a gyro plate, right? Some people may say gyro, but I'm from Chicago. I say gyro. I don't know if anybody else from Chicago says that, but shit, I do. But, um, yeah. And these stupid people with the delivery driver claim to have dropped it on my doorstep. But it's like, and then I didn't get no notification. No, literally no nothing, like, until after the fact. Man, you, they dropped it at the wrong place. Because if you look at the picture, that's not even the door outside of my building. Like, I didn't been here long enough to know exactly what my door, my front door looks like. And that wasn't even it. So I went the completely off on the delivery job. Like, are you stupid? Like, how could you be so careless to just leave somebody food outside and then notify them after the fact of your food is outside? Like, they didn't ring the doorbell. They didn't call. They literally did absolutely nothing. Like, nothing but take a picture of the, the door, the food sitting outside. So anybody can grab. And I got a notification from DoorDash saying, your food has been delivered. Like, what in the dumbass shit is that, right? Like, how could you possibly deliver somebody's food? I hate when orange chicken come in. I got some orange chicken, right? And I was expecting the OG orange chicken, but this shit is red. This is red chicken. It tastes good, though. So I'm going to let them slide. But anyways, um, yeah, so I went out talking about stupid ass delivery drive. Talking about that's the address on the app. No, the fuck is not. Like, are you dumb? Just made me mad. And then, and then I ordered a gyro plate and um, mozzarella sticks. First of all, <coughs> excuse me. First of all, I don't even eat mozzarella sticks like that. But for some reason, I had a taste for some mozzarella sticks. Um, I think it meant, I think it could have just been the marinara sauce that I had a taste for. I don't know. But, anyways. I, or they cook, the second they send the order back around, so they send the food again. It was cold, and they don't send gyro sauce. But here's the tea behind that: Why the fuck is the gyro sauce in the mozzarella sticks bag? To me, that don't even make no sense. So I'm searching all around for this gyro sauce. I got some beef and broccoli too because I wanted some broccoli, some beef and broccoli. On you know how they be giving you two two things and then the whole side is um more chicken and shit you know how panda express do it y'all know how panda express do it they give you two options to choose from then you got the, the noodles or the rice that's what i want but i couldn't get that so i had to get a whole fucking tray of beef and broccoli and rice but that's fine but anyways um uh -huh. it's all right it's just all right but don't hurt to try, right? This shit hot as a motherfucker, though. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. It's hot. It's burning my fucking fingers off. Okay. First of all, I need to stop complaining about my food coming hot because I appreciate it being hot. Although I don't like my food being really hot, that it burned my tongue and my fingers and my mouth. I don't really like food that hot. Cause I get mad if I can't eat it when I'm starving cause it's too hot. And then again, I don't really like spicy food like that either. So I don't know. But anyways, guys, anyways, guys, back to what I was saying. So I am, um, now teaching fourth grade and third grade with those same babies that was in my second grade class when I was doing a day in the life as a second grade teacher. So if you have not seen those videos, go ahead and check that out because <laughs> Those kids are great. Like, those are my babies. Those are those are my first babies, and they're going to be my babies for life. And when I told them I was going to be their teacher this year, 
um, because their teacher, she um, she had a baby. Well, she's having a baby, so she, you know, pregnancy leave, stuff like that, and nobody to fill in. So what happened is I ended up doing both classes. It's a long, 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 long story, but I've really been tackling it. I can really say that I'm very much so proud of myself. And it has been going really, 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 really well. Sometimes I have some really stressful nights, but I'm still happy. I'm happy with what I'm doing with my life. I'm happy I found my my purpose. Well, I, I always knew my purpose in life. I just had issues fulfilling my purpose. But now I'm happy that I'm able to fulfill my purpose. I'm walking in my path for life, and I appreciate it every single day. Like, I think about them all day long. It does not mean, Even on the weekend, I think I wonder what they're doing if they're thinking about me. Like, that's so crazy, right? But yeah, besides that, um, I'm single. Yeah, that relate that my last relationship didn't work out. Last time I checked when I was on videos, I was talking about I would do him and him, him, him. I was talking about a him, but there is no him anymore. I'm single and I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm um focused on myself. I give myself a facial once a week. Okay. <laughs> I take baths once a week. I just love me. Like I'm in a place where mentally, like I'm great. Like I'm just great. Like, I'm happy. Sometimes I want the intimacy and I crave intimacy, but it's a craving. Like It could just be I'm lusting for a man's presence, but that doesn't mean that I'm not happy with being by myself because I feel like some people get it mistaken when, oh, you want somebody, you want to be with somebody, you want this and you want that, but that doesn't mean that I'm not okay with me. Because again, like I've said before, there's nothing else I'm happy in life with. I'm happy with me. And I can actually say there's more things that I'm doing that I'm happy with in my life besides me now. I'm happy with me. I'm happy with my career. I'm happy with my car. I'm happy with this place that I'm saying that. It's just me, so I don't really need that much space. Like I'm happy with just the people around me and how their life is going. I'm happy with the new relationships and the new bonds that I've built. Just within the last year, I'm just happy with the choices that God has leaded me to make. And I'm just so, so blessed. So where have I been? I've been living my best life to the best of my ability, loving myself and giving my light to the world. My principal and other some other people, they call me sunshine because I wake up every day and I reset and I feel and I give the sunshine and the light to the world. Because of course, my motto, as you guys know, if you watch all my um inspirational word videos, I always say to be be the light for yourself and for yourself first and for others too. But yeah, guys, that is Tara J. That is where I've been. I love you guys so much. If you are wondering what else I've been doing, stay tuned because I will be dropping more videos. I'm back at it better than ever. And I'm just in a different headspace, okay? I feel the freest I've ever been in my entire... Actually, you know what? 2016, that was the freest year because I had just got up with another relationship then too. But <laughs> but yeah, I've, this year, because I'm grown so much, I'm 29. Um, this is the freest I've ever been. I'm, I'm in a, I have a career. I have my own things about that thing. I, it's just, I have my own things and I'm just like, I have nothing to ask for from another. I mean, of course, I'm not afraid to ask for help, but I'm not in need of nothing. If that's the case, if that's what, if that's what I'm trying to say, yeah, I'm not in need of nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm capable of caring for myself and the necessities that I need. So it feels good to be able to say that I'm an adult. Okay. <laughs> adult. Adulting is hard though, but I'm not gonna act like it ain't, but it is. Right like right now I need some gas and I I'm so sick and tired of getting gas. <laughs> Cause the gas is four dollars. Like in what lifetime should gas be four dollars? Like it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. But the only thing that I have not been doing is painting. Like I wish I could find the time to actually dive into my creative juices. So what I've been doing is I've been doing, I've been teaching art class. That I've been doing a lot, guys. So I've been, I teach art class. I have an art club at school with um, the kids. Um, I do cheerleading with the bigger middle school kids. Um, I do for, teach fourth and third grade. Uh, yeah, I just do a lot of things. Like I'm, I'm so happy with my life. Like I'm so, oh my God, like I can, I just, I'm just feels good. Like I love the people that are in my life right now. I love waking up in the morning. I'm just so grateful. Like I give all my grace and my gratitude to God because he's just, he's had my back. 
He has had my back through all my trials and tribulations. And when I under and I really say that prayer is a huge thing. And I know that I was praying for so many people and leaving myself out a lot. And then when I started to pray for myself and others too, it helped. It helped a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm big on prayer. So don't forget, guys, before you go step off of my video today, don't forget to say a good prayer for yourself and manifest the life that you want. Speak it into existence existence because I am still speaking things to existence because my next car is going to be a BS truck, okay? <laughs> Not even lying. I'm speaking it into existence, okay? Anywho, and I'm going to have floor to send in windows in my next career because I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. That's my motivation to stay in shape. Oh, that's another thing that I haven't been going to. I went to the gym today, but I haven't been going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym since August. So I'm disappointed in that. Um, I probably haven't painted since like actually I painted the other weekend, but I didn't finish it But I haven't like dived deep into a real painter for real for real Maybe a more than six months, which is bad bad for a creative in the mind that goes as fast as mine But we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna get back into it eventually. I'm 100% confident in myself but I'm, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get it together because It's all about what I want to do. Okay. It's about me Okay <laughs> All right, guys, so before, again, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, like I always tell you, I love you guys so much. Peace.